Hello. <coughs> Nomad Sculpt Cat Series 5 Grids. Sometimes it's useful um, to use grids uh, for to for low poly um, to cut them into equal pieces um, or something else or to find the midpoint. I did a video um, that also helps. Um, it's um, uh, this tar target video. Um, come on. And um, you can find it on the YouTube channel. Um, okay. I switched to the Nomad app. And in the front you see uh, this cross. Um, this is um, a cross grid and you can also uh, switch through the grids. Um, this is uh, in the background settings. These uh, grids are transparent PNGs. Um, and you can resize uh, them. Uh, you, um, here in the background setting go to transform and then you can um, adjust the grids as you want and when you ready to use the, the grid uh, simple tap on the screen and then um, you can use it uh, here sometimes it's better uh, to use uh, the background pictures um, for this um, feature or uh, instead of the planes in the other video um, where the plane is uh, always locked to the view of the object and which one okay uh, when you want to um, align something um, then you can uh, snap the view on the rotation uh, cube and then you can bring your object in a position you want and now you can use a split tool um, to exact position your uh, split and now you have an orientation where something happens um, okay um, you can create this grids um, easily. Um, I use Nomad Sculpt. Um, I, I use Procreate, uh, <laughs> not Nomad Sculpt. Um, create a square canvas, or um, the size is um, not necessary. Um, and you can um, hide the background and export it as a PNG, and um, you can. Yes, you, you can test it and, and you can draw lines and grids uh, if you want or you can download them um, somewhere. Okay, but uh, one thing I will show you also in this tutorial is um, when you um, find such outline uh, pictures, you can use them instead of a grid. Um, okay, when this picture has a white background, it's easily to um, to remove the white background in Procreate. Uh, you can swipe down with three fingers, copy it, and uh, go to the layer with the picture, mask it, swipe down with three fingers, and insert it again. And on the layer mask, you can reverse it, um, and then pinch it together, and swipe with two fingers to alpha lock it and fill the layer oops i got it um alpha lock is inside and um uh, fill layer not a delete layer and then it's uh, black and when it's not black enough duplicate it um, and you can pinch it together um, I export this uh, to show you the example uh, as a PNG 
and I export it in the background folder of Nomad. Um, here is Nomad, the background folder. I save it and keep it. And then you have to restart Nomad. And when you now use um, the reference image, the dinosaur appears. Um, why it's uh, now on the, <laughs> um, I don't know uh, why it's rotated. Um, you can rotate it um, this way and then it's correct. Um, it's, a, it's only an example. Um, and then you can transform it and bring it uh, here. And in the settings of the background uh, picture, uh, you can use the overlay function uh, to bring it uh, in the background or in the front. And the alpha uh, reduces um, the opacity, I think. Um, and now there's uh, another thing you have to um, remember or you can here in the background, um, you can scale it. And when you're fine, you can oh, oh, you use the camera and in the camera you can add a few. And when you rotate it and want you want to go back, you can always select this view again. And um, with this view you can um, um, Yes, you can use it as a reference or something. It's uh, sometimes um, nicer than a, a colored picture. Um, you can um, transform it and bring it in a in a corner and use it always as a reference. Um, it is not so. Yes, it's clearer. I think. Okay, I hope this video helps a little bit. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.